Hello, and this is Theme Park Squib, and today we're exploring Alton, around the area around Alton Towers, mainly to find the Chained Oak, which is the tree that Hex is based on, the white Hex is based on, it's the legend around there. So I'll see you at what we're going to do first, so I'll see you down there. So we're just walking down to the chained oak through a footpath that's through a wood. That's it. That's it up there. We believe we can just see it in the distance. Oh. See, it's growing, the tree's growing around it, no? Right, should we take you down, Chloe? Yeah. We're now just walking down the footpath some more, but we did see the chained oak there which uh, looked like a branch has come off uh, recently, but uh, yeah, you can see the chains, the chains are literally, the tree has grown around the chains on some parts of that, and the chains are so rusty on that, it definitely looks like it happened back then. But as you can probably hear in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, you can actually hear Oblivion and Smiler going around at Alton Towers, actually just up that way, uh, where they are. Uh, up there, we were there the other day, check out the video if you haven't, we were at Gulliver's yesterday, if you haven't checked out the video from there. But uh, yeah, it's very nice to see, something I've always wanted to see when I've been here at Towers. You've seen the Chained Oak Inn or what, Bed and Breakfast at the top there. You always want to see it when you come down. And finally we've had a look, at, definitely wanted me to see it more after when we went to the Alton Towers Gardens uh, in November, or not November, June time. When we went done the two visits there, it made me want to see more because I really discovered the history of the park and I just wanted to see it. Because it obviously is a legend. It's where the Earl of uh, the Earl of Shrewsbury, who lived in the towers, came down here, down a road, and a beggar came out, and he refused to give the beggar some money, and she cursed him with every branch of the old oak tree that would fall. A member of his family died, and there was a violent storm that night, and a branch did fall off, and someone of his family died, so he chained the tree up to stop it. Uh, that's the legend of uh, the ride, and Hex developed it even longer, that he took the branch back with him and experimented on it. That was for the Hex ride. Uh, they extended the story for it, we brought the tree back, experimented on it, and that's where the madhouse part of the ride comes in. 
but yeah, it's just interesting to see that part of history. We don't know if the legend's true or not, uh, but it is in chains, the tree is there. But it is a local legend around here, and Alton Towers obviously extended the story and developed it into a fantastic ride at Alton Towers, which sadly is closed at the moment uh, because of obviously measures that have got to be in place for COVID-19. Uh, they can't operate that attraction with sim similar attractions like uh, Haunted House at Legoland, we've seen that as well. But it's just good to see, and they took like a local area, I think it was for the 20th anniversary of Towers, Two Swords, who owned the park at the time, wanted to do a ride based on local area. But it's just fantastic, and it's actually in the Towers building. You go through many pre-shows in the Towers building, leading you up to that madhouse, which is just in the building at the back. But it's just so good to see the trained oaks. So I'll see you at where we're going next. Over here, there, you can actually see an abandoned old bridge that's been left here. I do believe this is where an old railway line used to be around Towers. When the Towers was obviously just the Towers and Gardens before the theme park came along, uh, this could have been the line, because I do believe there's an abandoned station. Some of the railway line is still in place. Uh, it's like a heritage railway you can pay to go on, in, called the Churnit Valley Railway, but I think if we follow this path, we might get to this new station. It's up there. Some like little concrete. Like signage that's left in here, it's talking about cables just on the floor. As you can see now, we're at an abandoned railway station, the old railway station for Alton. As you can see, the platform edge is there, and there's the old station building. That's it for a day here at Storing Alton. We've actually come down to the JCB World Headquarters. You'll probably see this if you're uh, coming up to Alton Towers regularly. You'll see this on the way there. Amazing building, obviously JCB, the construction brand, all the headquarters here. Also lovely grounds, we've just had a walk around as well. We've had a good day, we saw the Chained Oak, went around Alton Village, we found the old train station, the old train line that was down there. Very nice uh, day out, but this wasn't the only vlog, probably only a short video. Uh, we've done some other vlogs, we were at Gulliver's yesterday, we were at Alton Towers the day before that, check out the videos from them. It's good just to see it, I really enjoyed seeing the Chained Oak for the first time. You enjoyed it too, didn't you? Yeah. And I also enjoyed seeing everything around again. And uh, yeah, it's been a very good day. Don't forget to check out the other videos as well. Um, such as the Alton Towers vlog and the Gulliver's vlog, our first visit there yesterday. Uh, this is only a short video, as I said, but don't forget, to follow, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out those other videos. And next week I'll actually be from Chesnut and World of Adventures in just over a week's time. I will be going down there for the first time since the lockdown. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.